Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Zapper.xyz D5 wallet. I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of it and tell you exactly how it works. So for starters, what you have to do is go to Zapper.xyz and connect your wallet. Once you have done that, Zapper will automatically pull all of your data from the blockchain and it will know exactly what tokens you have, what NFTs you have, and what all of your transaction history is. So it's automatically populated here. And now you can use Zapper to do a number of things. So for starters, you can keep track of what you have. If I hit on my profile, you can see that it automatically recognizes my .eth or ENS domain name, but it also automatically pulls up what assets I have on the different chains. So there's Ethereum mainnet, but then there's also layer twos like Arbitrum, Polygon, Optimism, et cetera. On the top right hand side, it shows the total value of all of the assets held in this wallet broken down by tokens and ETH, and then also NFTs. And below that, I can see a list of all of the transactions that this wallet has ever completed. So this is really a useful way to keep track of everything across the various different layer twos all in one place, because as you probably know, once you start using the same wallet across different layer twos, it can become quite difficult to keep track of everything. Now also on the portfolio tab, there's a more detailed breakdown that shows all of the assets. Another interesting thing that Zapper does is it automatically recognizes if you are eligible for any claimable airdrops and if you have any debt. So let's say you had taken a DeFi loan from Aave or Compound, then Zapper would automatically pull that from the blockchain, recognize it, and it will show up here. Again, just making it easier to keep track of everything. The same applies for NFTs. On the NFTs tab, you can see all of the different NFTs that you've minted or purchased, which is great. On the activity tab, you can also filter by network, which is a very useful feature. So let's say, for example, I only wanted to see what transactions have I made on Arbitrum? Well, I could just select Arbitrum and it would filter out all of the other networks automatically for me. So this is one of the major pros of Zapper in that it just allows you to keep track of all of your crypto assets on the Ethereum ecosystem in one simple place. But you can do a lot of other things with Zapper. For example, you can swap directly through the app by clicking on the swap button up here and you can choose what token you want to swap from and which tokens you want to swap into. Trades are available on ETH mainnet, but also on Base, Optimism, Arbitrum, Binance, Polygon, and AVAX. And for each of these, you can see what are the most traded tokens and you can do some exploration by looking at this list right here. Another thing you can do is use the bridge tab. So let's say I wanted to transfer funds from one layer two to another. Well, I could transfer, let's say, from Arbitrum to Polygon or Arbitrum to Optimism. And I can do that again directly through the Zapper application. So instead of having to go to all of these different apps, for example, a separate bridge and a separate swap or decentralized exchange place, I can do everything in one place. Another thing that Zapper is good for is keeping tabs on what is happening in the Ethereum ecosystem. You can see what is trending on the homepage. So for example, this token, the RW token, has been traded 741 times in the last 24 hours. So it's popping up here automatically and you can scroll through here and see what is currently trending. And this is an interesting way that you can keep tabs on the ecosystem and potentially get ideas for what you want to do next. You can also separate the trending tab into trades, but also NFT minting or NFT sales. So you can see what's a popular NFT that's minting right now or which NFT collection has sold the most in the last 24 hours. You can also follow other people's Ethereum wallets and you can keep track of what they're doing. So for example, if you wanted to follow some Twitter personalities, then you could find them here and add them to your follow list. Each time you want to add someone to your follow list, you actually have to sign a transaction with your wallet. So now that I've followed a bunch of people, if I go back home and hit following, then it's like a curated feed and I see what these people are doing. It's kind of like social media, except I'm tracking now their transactions. So I can see that Deez.eth minted this NFT two days ago. So that's an interesting way that you can keep tabs on maybe Ethereum whales and see what they're doing. and maybe potentially try to follow in their footsteps. And finally, if you wanted to delve more deeply into the Ethereum ecosystem and keep tabs on specific areas, so for example, NFTs, then you have the option to delve into that by clicking on these buttons on the left-hand side here. So in the NFTs tab, for example, I can keep track of what are the most traded collections and I can see the stats on the floor prices and the transaction volume and the trend. Is it going up or is it going down? Same thing for DeFi, you can see which applications have the most 
value locked in them. And in the DAOs tab, you can explore a variety of different decentralized autonomous organizations. You can see what they're up to, and maybe you'll find something that you're interested in contributing to. So yes, overall, I think that the zapper.xyz wallet is a useful tool, especially if you're transacting on a variety of different blockchains. It just makes it easier to see everything in one simple way than, for example, by just looking at the MetaMask web browser extension where you have to manually change the network to see what assets you have on those different networks. This just makes it a lot easier to see all in one place. So hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll see you later.